Hi everybody, it's Rose. I'm glad you're back for our fourth day of looking at different spiritual practices and I hope that you've been enjoying this process so far. Today I thought we would look at the idea of reading um, some inspirational spiritual texts being a great spiritual practice. So I am down here on the floor next to my bookcases. I actually have two bookcases that are full of spiritually oriented books here in my office at home. And I'm down here on the floor with my dog, Oliver. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. There he is. And he's not very, uh, interested in this. So anyway, we'll go back to the books over here. So, you know, any spiritual text that you um, feel drawn to, or any spiritual author um, that you enjoy, reading their work can always be um, a source of inspiration and peace and balance. So reading some kind of text like that could really be a wonderful addition to your day as in in the spirit of it being um, a spiritual practice. So, you know, a lot of people um, have books and save books. I have tons of them, um, but I only tend to save the ones that are really meaningful to me. Um, you know, one thing I would suggest for people is if you are a member of a particular um, religious community, um, if you're a Protestant or a Christian or Catholic or something like that, you know, one thing that you might want to do from a, for a spiritual practice is you might want to read the Bible. <laughs> and I know that might sound weird, but there are lots of people, um, who have never read the Bible. And, um, I can't say that I've ever read it cover to cover, but I've read lots of the Bible in different sections at different times in my life. And I've read many, many, many different versions of the Bible. And I actually have quite a few versions of the Bible here on my bookshelf. Um, so that could be a wonderful spiritual practice for you. Um, if you are interested in other religions, another spiritual practice might be um, really beneficial um, reading another religion's sacred texts like um, the Upanishads or the Koran or um, some of the older Jewish texts, the Hebrew um, texts that are so significant in um, the Jewish religion. Some of those kinds of things might be a wonderful way for you to look at different kinds of spiritual beliefs and spiritual insights and also be a part of your own spiritual practice. So that's one idea. Of course, another idea is to find some kind of um, spiritual text that is appealing to you um, and read from that every day. One of my favorite authors that writes spiritual material is Marianne Williamson. A lot of you are probably familiar with her work, and this is, of course, backwards on, the, on this picture. This is her book, Illuminata, and I've read many of her texts. Illuminata I kept because it is basically a um, book of prayers and daily devotions. And again, in keeping with our theme of spiritual um uh, practice that idea of reading prayers or even writing your own prayers can be a wonderful spiritual practice. So a lot of times I'll read something out of that book. I also have um, some of my pagan books that I like to read and reflect back on. This is a wonderful spiritual practice. If you find a, a wonderful magazine that you like or enjoy that is spiritually oriented, this is a, a magazine called Sage Woman, and it is geared for um, celebrating the divine feminine in every woman, the goddess energies. And so I enjoy picking up copies of this magazine at my local bookstore. Um, they usually carry it at Barnes and Noble. And um, 
I just slowly read through all of the articles and all of the poetry and the stories and everything that are that are included in the magazine. And that can be a part of my spiritual practice every day to take 15 or 20 minutes, half an hour, just to read something that's spiritual. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel more centered. It makes me feel more connected to my own sense of who I am as a spiritual being. So any of those kinds of written works can be really beneficial. I know there are some people who subscribe to um, certain email lists that send inspirational thoughts every day, or they send a piece of scripture every day, or they send, um, you know, an, um, some kind of uh, story every day that is helpful or um, highlights the more positive aspects of life so that people stay in a positive frame of mind. So you can go out on the internet, just Google inspirational stories, and I'm sure you'll find some like that that you can also read. So making reading of spiritual material part of your spiritual practice is always a possibility. And I think it's a wonderful way to um, connect with things that you are interested in from a spiritual perspective and also to give you a wonderful place um, to go so that you can refocus and balance and make that a part of your everyday so that it becomes literally a natural part of who you are. So I hope that's helpful for you today. Thanks for tuning in again. Be sure to come back again tomorrow. We're going to be discussing another type of spiritual practice. So until then, I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.